Hey, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today let's ask the question, does app store optimization guarantee success? All right, so today I wanna to answer a question that came in on episode 580 from Tryon Dragisi Games. And Tryon, I always feel like I'm mispronouncing your name, so if you can correct me in the comments, please do. Uh, Tryon said, hi Eric, do you think that any game can have success on Google Play using ASO or only some games can? Good question, no. I don't think that any game can have success on Google Play with ASO, but every app can, do better using ASO. So if they're not optimized for the app stores, then which is what it is, app, ASO is app store optimization. It doesn't guarantee success. It depends on, and it, I guess it depends on what you mean by success, but every application should be looking into this kind of stuff. Everybody should be looking at best practices and playing around with things, making sure the icon is good, the screenshots are good, making sure the copy is good, make sure they're thinking about how people are gonna find it, uh, make it, looking at backlinks, all this kind of stuff. All that stuff is really important, but you also have competitors on the market. You have competitors with advertising budgets. You have competitors, so like if I were to make a, um, if I was making, let's say, a Candy Crush competitor, right, I can't outrank Candy Crush ever, ever, ever. Like if I do a three in a row game thinking, how do I get to the top of that? It's never gonna happen. They've got whatever, millions of reviews. I don't even know how many reviews they have, but they have a lot. They have lots of reviews, they have millions of downloads, they're doing really, really well. And you have to think about how these, um, how these search engines work. Google Play doesn't wanna, if you search for something on Google Play, they don't wanna just give you something random or something that has a keyword mentioned more than once. They wanna get one that you think would be the best one, otherwise you won't even bother using Google Play search. So what they're trying to do is use all the social proof, all the backlinks, all the reviews, the, the description, everything, so they can give it to you. And sometimes when you release an app, the market is just too crowded, right? There's just too much out there already. But, you know, the biggest problem that most applications have is they don't look at this kind of stuff. They don't think about how people are gonna find it. And sometimes, and I've done this myself, where you release an app and you don't even think about you don't think about monetization from the beginning and you don't think about how people are going to find it because you just assume that you put it there and people are going to find it and they're going to like it. If they like this one that's established, I'll do one just like that and they should do well and that just doesn't work. I mean, the reskinning thing for a while just, I mean, I mean, it worked a kind of a little bit because if you really liked a game, say if you like Candy Crush and you, I want something like this and you might search for Candy Crush or other similar games and you might come up with a reskin and those might have done well, but then everybody started doing it and then we have the repetitive content policy on Google Play, which I have yet to hear be enforced by anyone and then we've got the 4.3 rate, uh, 4.3 guidelines on the Apple, the App Store, which says that this is, um, you know, it, you're like reskinning and all this kind of stuff. So you can't, you know, it's, it's too much like your other app. So they're trying to do these things to limit the amount of apps that could go in. But even then, they, they, they didn't really work. Now, if you do have a competitor, like if you're releasing an app to, the, to Google Play or the App Store, and you have a competitor that's on the top and you could be like two or three, that would still be good because, you know, they might get suspended for something. Maybe the repetitive content policy will come in. Maybe they just might fail, maybe they might release a version that they just get loads of bad reviews for, so they, they release a version with a bug and then they start to fall or whatever. So I mean, it's, it's not worth doing. The reason I don't like saying that it wouldn't result in success is because so many times when you say something about releasing an app, you say it was, it, it's gonna be difficult, right? We all know it's gonna be difficult releasing an app to the App Store. The App Store is really, really crowded, but a lot of people think, well, that's why I'm not even gonna try. In fact, just a few minutes ago, I got a comment on an older video from somebody said, that's why I don't even bother touching apps, right? And I'm thinking, we talked about this last week, right? You, you, just saying, oh, that's why I didn't even try. That's why I didn't do anything, right? Good, good for me, I did nothing, and I just sat here and did nothing because I'm always right, and you just have to try things. So, anyway. Is a really good question, but no, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna result in success, but I think everybody should be doing it. Everybody should be learning about it. Everybody should be Googling it. Everybody should be playing around with their, their keyword entries. When we do the live streams on Friday nights, it's good to get the rest of the group in there contributing to it too, because you get lots of feedback from other people too, and we can all look at things like, oh, you could try moving this over there, and things you may not have thought of. So really, thanks very much for your, your um, for your question, Tryon. And let me know what the rest of you guys think. Do you think, do you disagree with me? I mean, I suppose 
of you sell ASO services, like if I sold ASO services, then maybe I might be, you know, and we might do ASO services in the future, something we're actually talking about as a company, but no, it does not guarantee success, but everybody should be doing it. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.